Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. So we just had our coffee break, and we're getting ready to start milking. The girls are eating a second crop bail right now. Um, so I thought I'd introduce a couple girls to you guys before we start. So this right here is Leah. You can probably tell by her face. She's a little older. She's a brown Swiss Holstein cross. She's around 15. She actually is the cow that I was showing you guys if you've watched any of my previous videos. We can't actually let her out in the free stall unless they're going out onto the pasture because she's so old and big bodied that she has a hard time getting up out in a free stall. So we have to leave her in here and most of the time we just unhook her and let her roam around the stalls in here so she gets some exercise but she can't actually go outside and get stuck in a stall because that would be really bad for her at this age. But she's still hanging in there, going strong. So that is Leah. Next girl, I have already showed you guys. I actually showed you guys in the last video. I never formally introduced her, so this is Kimmy. She is an Asher Holstein cross. She's probably around seven years old. And something about her, which you guys also already know, is that she has this really annoying habit of pulling hay in to her stall and then standing on it, and then she won't eat it. And it's really, really frustrating, so I have to push most of the hay all the way over to the other cows so that she can only reach a little bit of it. Which seems cruel, but it's the only way I can keep her from pulling it back into her stall and standing on it and then ruining a whole bunch of hay. She's also mean. She just hit that whole jersey next year. Anger issues. So that is Kimmy. Now, I did have one other thing that I wanted to show you guys before we got started. And you've probably already guessed, but we do have a new baby and I'm really excited to show you guys. Because she is just the cutest thing ever. You guys are going to love her. So this is her, you guys. She was born yesterday morning. We were not expecting her at all. You guys probably remember I introduced that lineback cow that I showed you guys, Bobby Joe. This is actually her calf. She looks just exactly like her. She's a little more white and a little less black than Bobby Joe is. I swear she's the cutest calf I've ever seen. I've already named her Daphne and I'm like super attached. So it's not gonna be good when we have to get rid of her, but she is just the sweetest thing. She eats really well. I just thought I'd show you guys some of that. I do have to, I will have to open up the cage because the birds around here are so noisy. Shh, I'm trying to speak, okay? So Bobby Jo did have her on her own. We didn't have to help her with anything. So that was really good. She also cleaned. So nothing wrong there, no problems, which is great. And Daphne is also really healthy for an early calf. She's also quite large for an early calf, but. She's just so cute. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned, but we also do dip their navels just after they're born with the iodine solution just so they don't get infected or anything. So I've already done that with her, and it's already drying up a little bit. And her little black ears get me, they're so cute. Good job, finished. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Back in your cage. Good girl. All right, so now that I've fed her, um, we do have to go milk the girls, so I'll go wash this bottle and then we'll get right into milking. But what I wanted to do today was, we are gonna take a quick look at the Kubota. We're gonna check the belts and everything on it just to make sure everything's all set, there aren't any cracked belts or anything. Um, so that we'll be all set for springtime when we have to load manure and just do all the other things that spring entails. So we were gonna take a quick look at that today because it is going to be a little bit warmer. It's gonna be around 39 degrees today. I did want to update you guys that we got the filter on that tractor and it does seem to work much better now. So it must have had water in the fuel and it wasn't filtering it out right because it was old. So. so replacing that did seem to fix the problem, but we've got to get into milking and then we will get into looking at the Kubota. So we just finished milking. I hold the girls out. We haven't bedded them yet because they are eating and they'll probably crap. Um, so we're gonna bed them up after we are done doing something else that we decided we had to do. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a couple three quarter inch wrenches and there is a sprocket in here or like a sleeve that just slides down. Sliding down too much so it's not keeping this chain tight and it'll roll right off. So what we're gonna do is there's one on the bottom and I just need to hold that while Brent tightens up the one on top. 
just so we make sure that that doesn't run that off because that creates a huge problem. So that's really irritating to have to fix that when you're trying to do the cleaner. So we just thought we'd take a look at that because it did slide down the other day. So we're gonna tighten that up real quick. Brent is over across the road getting those wrenches right now. And I think he is also gonna drive, yeah, he's gonna bring the Kubota across the road. So we'll see if there's anything we need to fix on that before springtime comes. The head not a move. Cook the brand cleaner on just a minute to make sure that everything's going well. Okay. Should be alright. You know how we can fix that? Is that sprocket keeps falling down? Yeah. Roll the hole right through the shaft and put a hollow pin in it. Yeah. Then it, then it will hold it out. Yeah, that's true. Split that. got the hood open we took a good look at the belts they look good they're just a little bit oily other than that they look nice and tight and they're not cracked or anything so that's good it is a little low on antifreeze so Brent is going to get some of that and we're gonna fill that up you can see it's not showing at all right there so we're gonna fill that up obviously we do need to blow out the radiator because that's full of some junk but this is all gone unless I put it in the shop let me check the shop okay can you see anything can you see that hose what hose Little tiny. Oh, you talking about the one that was cracked when we were? Yeah, we cut it off. It's on your side, I'm fairly certain. It was. Well, it's running, so leave it alone. What did you say earlier? It looks like an engine. <laughs> yeah, that's a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I done all I can do. <laughs> Shut her up. Oh, we gotta check that air cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Ew. Like me. What? The filter looks a little nasty. Real nasty. We'll go blow it out. Sure. Uh, this one looks okay. Okay. That one looks fine. The front of it definitely needs to be blown out though before yeah. we start doing stuff. Yeah, the belts look windy. Plastic welder. <laughs> you could have edited a lot of this. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Got to make sure we look like we actually have a clue. You're right. You should have taken those hoses and run them up the arm. Yeah. So you See, you don't have enough now, though. No. I don't know. I don't think you do. You can't lift. You're gonna have to be lifting them up in that metal building. You're not gonna be able to lift it high enough to get it in the metal building with these hoses if they're attached to the loader arm. Well, wait a minute. It'd be a lot easier if they weren't in the way all the time. Yes. Yeah. I got a wrench. You have one? No, it's over there. I think on the tire. Hey. Yeah. You toss Okay. 
probably gonna have to hold it. Mine are too. I say no. one tractor at a time here. <laughs> <laughs> Takes us five weeks to get ready. Not that bad either. Looks like the back tires are going to need to be... Well, not... No, uh, they're getting pretty weather cracked. Oh. Really bad. They're not that old. No, I know. How many years ago was that? Like, well, actually, I bet it was five years ago. Probably was five. Good old tractor. Sure is. So the Kubota looks good. We just finished looking at it. Sorry you guys didn't get to see more of that. My camera battery died and I just got it charged back up. So Brent did say bye to you guys, but it wasn't filming because my battery was dead and I didn't realize it. So bye from Brent. Um, so we looked at the Kubota. It all looks good. All the fluid levels are up with the exception of the antifreeze. It does need more antifreeze, but we didn't have any in the shop or anywhere around here. So we're going to have to buy some of that for it because it was extremely low on that. But all the other fluids were good. The belts were good. We do have to clean out the radiator some point before springtime comes. Um, but it was just too cold to be doing it today. It was really cold on your hands. It was supposed to be about 30 today, but it was only like 17 degrees out there, so it was a little cold on your hands. It would be nice to have a heated shop that we could fit the tractors in, but we probably wouldn't honestly use it that often other than springtime, so it's okay having to deal with a little bit of cold. We'll probably wait to look at the Massey and the International until the weather warms up a little bit more, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.